guys hey, welcome back to my channel hope you guys are feeling good my name is bukumi bk crown so guys we are going to be checking out this video together titled why muslims don't celebrate christmas like i'm actually being so curious about this and thankfully i was able to come across a video like this so let's listen to what amedi that had to say let's watch guys We in Islam are made to believe through the lips of the Holy Prophet Muhammad وسلم, that Hazrat Isa السلام, Jesus Christ was one of the mightiest messengers of God. We believe in his miraculous birth that without any male intervention he was born. We believe in his many miracles including those of giving life to the dead by God's permission and of healing those born blind and the lepers by God's permission. We believe. But we are in conflict with regards to his birthday. I was questioned whether we commemorate Christmas. I said, look, we enjoy Christmas holidays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Christmas holidays we enjoy, but we don't commemorate Christmas. Mm, it's true. If we only knew the date of his birth, we would also celebrate his birthday. Like it's a Miladun Nabi. We'll have Miladul Masih. We'll have the birthday of Jesus. But when was he born? They tell us 25th of December. Christmas Day, 25th of December. But he was not born on the 25th of December. How? Today the Christians have come to realize, the learned men of Christendom, that he was not born on the 25th of December. So when was it born? This 25th of December is the, day, is the date of the birth of the pagan sun gods. Not the son of God. Son of God in inverted commas. Not the son of God. But the sun god. Hmm. You know what it means? You see, you people here, this is the northern hemisphere. I come from the south. This is the northern hemisphere. And as winter approaches, December, it gets colder and colder here for you people. And as December 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, the primitive man, he could sense day by day, they can see the sun in the distance. Far away, it's going east to west, further and further away, and it's getting colder and colder. So they personify that, that the devil is eating up the sun. Though they start beating drums and start offering prayers, that the sun may not be swallowed up, because if it gets swallowed up, they'll be finished for good. 24th of December, the equinox, and now you see the 25th, those primitive people in the northern hemisphere, they could sense the variation in temperature day by day. 25th, they can see the sun coming back into its own. In other words, the sun has now come out supreme. It has not been, the, the devil didn't swallow up the sun. It's coming back. So that is the date of the birth of the sun god. Sun god, the sun has come back into its own. Those, they celebrated Christmas. Birth of, not Jesus Christ, the birth of the sun god, Baal, Horus, Apollo, Astarte, all these were the sun gods worshipped in the Mediterranean region and their birthday was the 25th of December. Hmm. So when the, the people became Christianized under Constantine, they accepted that birthday of the sun as the birth of the son of God, in inverted commas. Hmm. So it is not the birthday of Jesus. The Quran tells us very, very clearly that when Jesus was born, his mother Mary was told, he says, shake the palm leaf, the leaf of the palm leaf, date palm, and it will let fall fresh ripe dates. Means the dates were ripe, ready. You just shake it and shh, the thing will fall. And you can eat and refresh yourself with the rivulet, with the small river running by, refresh yourself. After the birth of the child, she is told that. So it was midsummer. How do you know if the Quran says, Okay. That the dates were ripe, it means midsummer, not midwinter. Palestine is in the northern hemisphere. Your winter and their winter is the same. So you don't have winter in midsummer. Dates in midsummer. So it was midsummer. Then the Bible also says that when Jesus was born, the shepherds were out in the field. Now the shepherd is a fool. If he with his sheep stays out in the open in Palestine. In midwinter, he will freeze to death and his, his, his sheep will freeze to death. <laughs> okay. 
So if you reason the Quran and the Bible, they both confirm that Jesus was not born on the 25th of December in midwinter. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I don't know how true that is. Like, this is actually new to me. Like, his theology was kind of deep, his explanation was kind of deep because I never sat down to think of it that. Is it actually that date Jesus was born? And I never, never thought about the weather issue. Okay, when Jesus was born, the weather was not, it was not winter, it was not summer, other things. I never put it into consideration. Now I understand why they don't celebrate Christmas, but they enjoy the Christmas holiday. Oh, I need to you know, do some thorough research. Now that he has made some explanation i need to do a research on why december 25th was chosen as the birth of jesus because i'm sure they cannot just choose a date for you know for the sake of it i'm sure that sh there is a proof that jesus was actually born then at that date but in trying to convince us based on the weather issue that's the reason why I will need to do my research on it very, very well. Well, amazing. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Stay blessed. Bye.